Welcome. In this video tutorial, we'll be using Crim Composer for 3DS Max version 1.31, and we'll be creating this uh, simple table. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to begin by going to the Prim Composer Create panel, and then I'll click uh, Sculpt Shape. And now I'm going to uh, create this uh, with a different aspect ratio from normal. Normally we have 32 by 32 columns by 32 rows, and uh, for today's uh, model I'm going to use uh, 16 columns by 64 rows. And then so that I know for sure that uh, this is going to beh behave well uh, at different LODs, I'm going to start with LOD1, which will reduce the resolution to four columns by 16 rows. So I'll click in the viewport to create that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining why I'm doing things, um, but just pretty much build the model. So I'm going to begin by uh, selecting the object and uh, we're going to go into vertex edit mode and I want the first uh, I've already planned this model out so in general when you're doing this from scratch uh, you'll need to think about how it needs to be constructed but uh, for this I'm going to take the um, the first six rows here and this is going to be the top of my table. So the first thing I'm going to do is to rotate this and I want to turn on angle snap and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and then I'm going to just move this move this up so that it's out of the way and uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn, go to wireframe mode here so that it's easier to see what's happening. Uh, actually, let's go for a moment back to smooth and highlights. And uh, we can see that uh, this end of the model is actually open. And as I said, I want this to be the top of the table. Uh, so I'm going to have to close this off. And also, it's important to place the seam uh, in a place that's not conspicuous. Uh, so what I'm going to do, let's uh, go back to wireframe here. And I'm going to rearrange these uh, so, that, um, so that the seams on my top are in, in a, a good place. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab these vertices and uh, I'm going to drag these, let's uh, move this over here, and uh, I'm going to drag these so that they're over here like this, and then I'm going to grab these and drag these over here. And then I'm going to grab all of this and move it down. And so I've created basically uh, my top now, except that if we go back into smooth uh, mode here, we can see that we still have this side that needs to be closed. So what I want to do is to actually, I think what I'm going to do is to move these move these in a little bit. And then uh, if we go back into, we'll go back into this mode so that you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to grab, uh, no, I'm going to grab these and these and uh, what I want to do is to move these up so what I'm doing now is I'm closing off
closing off this model and I'm going to just scale these in and if we go zoom in here I'm just going to approximately close them there and uh, I'll grab these and I always get this wrong let's try no Z is not right okay X was right and I'll grab these and I'll make them planar in X so now if we look at it uh, can't see it because of the extra geometry here but this is actually closed off now uh, so what I would need to do is to kind of make this a little bit nicer so let's grab these and I'll scale these out so that we have a square shape and now I want to oops let's undo that <clears throat> I want to grab the whole thing make it wide like a table and now also I want to make the height of this come down and I'm going to make it approximately the same depth as all of these other segments. So that looks like our top there. Now we need to look at the legs. And we're going to in order to do this, we, you can see we have all of this uh, these faces connecting the top to the rest of the geometry, which is uh the remaining geometry is going to be the legs of the table. Uh, so we need to control this geometry that we don't really want to see. Uh, so what we're going to do, these first two rows here are going to be the first leg. And then we need a transition to separate that leg from the next leg. So we're going to pinch off the geometry here by scaling in X, by making planar in X and in Z. So this gives us um, pinches off the geometry here to uh, scales it down to a single point. Um, now uh, what we're going to do is move oh, now before we do that let's go ahead and do that for all of the legs. So this leg is the first leg. This will be the second leg. So we need to pinch off this geometry. Then we'll have two more for the third leg. And then we'll need to pinch off the geometry. And then we'll have the fourth leg. So let's go ahead and uh, make these planar in X and Z. So now we have our legs defined in, in the geometry. Uh, let's start uh, moving them into position. So what we're going to do is grab. Oh, before we do that, uh, let's let's resize them, and also um, let's well let's resize them first. Uh, so we're going to make them down. Oops. Uh, let's do it from the top. Let's make them scale them down so that they are the size of the leg that we want. And that looks pretty good to me. And now we can see that uh, this is actually rotated uh, differently from the tabletop. So let's go ahead with angle snap on, uh, let's rotate these 45 degrees so that they match the orientation of the tabletop. 
and now we're going to start moving the, the legs actually into position so I'm going to grab the first leg and I'm going to move this up and then I'm going to move it over and move it over to the first corner now I'm going to grab this pinched off place and move it up into the middle of the tabletop then I'm going to move that over above the first leg now if we take a look at this quickly we can see what we have here we we have uh, this is the inside of the leg so basically I since the bottom of the leg is not uh, going to show uh, I haven't bothered to actually close off the geometry here but this is going down uh, from the side of the leg then going down into um, the geometry is coming down the side of the leg and then it's going up into the tabletop and then we have more geometry coming out here so you'll see more uh, this will probably make more sense when we start putting the next leg into place so let's grab the next leg and we want to move this up and we want to move that leg into position so I want to get this lined up so I'm going to line this up with the first leg and then in the top view I'm going to move this over into another corner so that's the second leg now I'm going to grab the next pinch point and move this up into the middle of the tabletop move it over to the new leg like so alright that's two legs done let's uh, go on to the third leg now we'll grab the third leg drag it up Now we need to move the move this leg into position. Uh, I want this to line up as well. So let's go up close here. Okay, we've got that. Now in the top view, we're going to move it over into the third corner and that looks good so now we want to grab the pinch point below that and move that up into the middle of the tabletop and then we want to move this over on top of that third leg okay that looks pretty good and now we're ready for the fourth leg and we move that up and then we want to move it over and again I want this to line up let's move in close here and we line it with that leg now let's check from the other side and uh, we look wait uh, did 
da da da. Okay, here's what I want. Um, all right, now we're going to move it in the other um, the other direction, and we want it to line up in this from this perspective as well. Ah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's zoom extents. Uh, now let's uh, get out of this and zoom extents so that we can see the whole table now. So now we have our tabletop and our four legs. We just need to make the legs longer. Uh, so let's go back into vertex selection mode and we'll select the bottoms of the legs. Uh, let's um, to make sure that these are planar. And then I'm going to drag these out so that I have the table that I want. And that looks pretty good. Let's just take one quick look at the edges here. Uh, let's, uh, let's make these planar. those look good okay we've got some problems here let's make these planar oops wrong let's try making them planar in Z okay they're squared up let's look at the other edge of the table and these need to be squared up so we'll make them planar in Z Okay, so it looks like all of our edges on the tabletop are square now. Let's take a quick look at this in the renderer. Looks good. So now we're ready to export this. Uh, Prim Composer export selected. And I'm going to call this table export and now I'm going to upload this uh, using Maxport to OpenSim okay so I've now I've uploaded uh, the table project uh, using Maxport and it took uh, 28 seconds to upload. So let's log into OpenSim to see what it looks like. So now I'm I'm in OpenSim, which is actually running on another machine on my home network and here uh, right above my avatar's head is the this is the table that we just created not the best table in the world but uh, pretty good for just a simple first try in the next video I'll show you how you can uh, bake a custom texture for this table. I'll see you then.